Hi, I'm Bruce Sparrow, N2KTV. I'm the product suppression manager here at Ferre Products. In part one of this video, we build a 1-1 current ballon using our type FR31 ferrite material. I've had the ballon in use on a 10 meter dipole for the last month and everything seems to be worked just fine. Just as a reminder, the 1-1 current ballons provide a high impedance common mode suppression so that the shield on your coax from your transmitter doesn't radiate. So I started to think, how do we really know our ballon works? After all, it's this coax wrapped around a, a ferrite core, and it's really hard to tell if it's doing anything uh, in the transmission line. So after I conferred with some colleagues and after reading a lot of the available literature on the internet, I found that you could measure impedance losses by using what's known as a vector network analyzer, also known as a VNA for short. VNAs generate a CW signal that the receiver component of the VNA, combined with some auxiliary software, allows you to measure the amplitude and the phase of the signal after it leaves your device. In its simplest form, a single port VNA can measure SWR, cable length, capacitance, resistance, phase angle, and other electrical attributes. But to do what we want it to do, we're going to need a two port VNA. In other words, we need to be able to measure not only what's known as the S11 parameters, but also the S21 parameters, in particular the losses that the ferrite core will introduce. So up until recently, two port VNAs were only seen in EMI electrical labs and cost many, many thousands of dollars. But more recently, several new integrated chips have been introduced on the market that make it possible to make these measurements using equipment that only costs a few hundred dollars. This is not a lab grade VNA by any means, but it gives you a pretty good indication of what's going on in your device as well as what's happening to the RF in your antenna. So let's go ahead and measure the losses that our ferrite core introduces into our transmission line. For this test we're going to be using the MFJ225 two port vector network analyzer. We're going to be taking the output from port 1, feeding it into the shield of the coax, through the ferrite core and back out into the second port. We'll analyze the results using IG free miniware which is available free of charge on the internet. I've gone ahead and set up the IG Mini software to measure the return loss by putting it in the transmission mode. I've also set the scan frequencies from 1.8 MHz to 30 MHz, which is the entirety of the HF bands. The IG Mini software is actually pretty powerful. It can measure SWR, impedance, transmission loss, phase, resistance, reactance, and other attributes. We're primarily interested in the transmission loss. That will correspond to the choking impedance that we desire from the ballon on our transmission line. Um, as you can see from the resulting scan here, we're getting between 3 decibels and 15 decibels of, of impedance or of choking impedance on our braid. Um, normally we'd like to see something probably in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 decibels. And in the next video, which I'll film in the coming days, we're going to explore ways to uh, make a better ballon. We're also going to compare the results we got out of this IG Mini software um, and our MFJ225 with a uh, professional VNA.